hello peeps so this is my 500 subscriber giveaway and also a wee tutorial at the same time so thanks everybody who's subscribed to me if you're new to the channel i'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to me i'm obviously on 500 subscribers now uh youtube sort of paying you I'll, I'll get paid a little tiny bit of money basically if we get to a thousand subscribers that's what i aim for obviously to give me a little bit of money i work for a living i don't earn much money i work with precast concrete it's not a massively high paid job so when i give these drives away it's basically obviously i'm going to be honest it's to try and get more subscribers more people involved in it and maybe one day i can get paid a bit of money for for what i'm doing you know these uh like this one i'm going to give a four terabyte drive away they're like about 90 quid i think so i'm giving away 90 pound and then i'm going to be paying if it's in britain obviously i'm going to be paying um like about eight quid delivery as well so it's like a hundred pound out of my bank which my bank hasn't got a great deal of money in. i say this every term i'm not bullshitting there it's uh you know i'm not a rich by any sense of imagination I've, I've got a few hundred quid in my bank but obviously it is to try and get more subscribers to my channel my target is a thousand obviously and then i can start getting a little bit of money back off of youtube <coughs> and what i'm going to do with the competition says last time i'm going to turn comments off on the video so you're going to have to watch the video you're going to have to be subscribed to my channel and at some point on the video i'm going to say a secret word that's why I turn my comments off because I don't want people putting it on. I want you to watch the video, give me a bit of viewing time. You know, I, I work for a living and I put a lot of time and effort into setting this system up. I've been doing loads just recently, so I've not been putting videos on. But um, if you can just subscribe, it just shows a bit of appreciation. Do you know what I mean? It's it's not hard to subscribe. You're not going to get it with notifications. You're not going to see anything from me. Literally, all it'll do is the next time you might be on YouTube, it might recommend a video for me to watch but that's it that's all it's going to do so i'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel so anyway firstly obviously what you're going to need is some wii games so i've just set a little temporary folder up here and i've got a few wii games in here i'm not going to tell you where to get your wii games from these ones are in the wbfs format I believe i don't know whether you can use any was i'm pretty much certain that's that's all you can get on it that's the only one that dolphin will recognize so we're gonna control a which is gonna select them all right click copy and this retrobat is on my e drive retrobat go into the roms folder go down and find Wii. And we're going to paste the games into there. Which isn't going to take long with the looks of it. It's going to take a couple of minutes. So I'll come back when they're downloaded. Right, so they've copied over. Another quick thing I will say is, um, with the competition, it's open worldwide. Obviously, I will send it anywhere in Europe and any or worldwide. America, um, I believe it's about 20 30 pound delivery and it's same same in europe but the issue is in europe obviously after brexit you'll be paying a custom so i wasn't really aware of how much these was until a, a guy from holland had a drive off me and then he, he let me know that he paid nearly 70 euros in customs charges which is being disgusting it's, it's absolutely mental and I've sent one to Europe, uh, to Ireland. Well, I sent a few to Ireland. Same, same thing. They're paying nearly seventy euros for a hard drive with, in a custom charge, which is absolutely crazy. <laughs> but uh, obviously, I'm not paying that. So, if you're going to enter the competition and you're in Europe, you are going to pay uh, sixty, seventy euros to get the drive. Obviously, I'll pay the the, the shipping cost. And obviously you're getting a free drive but i'm not paying the custom charge not a chance i can pay that as well so that is something that if you're gonna enter and you're in europe take in mind you will get a customs charge so that being said let's have a look inside now load retrobat up 
We'll have a drink of my tea. There's three ton in there, nine games in it, and as you can see, there's none of them have got any um, artwork for them. So I've shown you how to do this before, set a scraper, a screen scraper account up. So we're just gonna scrape these games now. You can do them individually. I'm gonna scrape them all as one. Yeah, and I'll let this do this. And then I will come back to you. Right, so all them are done scraping. So start, press your start button. Game settings, update your games list. Yes, all the artwork. Basically, with a Wii, as long as your games are titled correctly, it's going to find all everything. It's going to find all your videos and that. Pretty much, I'd be shocked if it didn't find them. So anyway, let's come out of that, and we are going to go um, right up to the start. We're going to go down to Retrobat. Coming out to Dolphin. Now you want the one, there's a, one for Triforce and one for the GameCube Wii. Let's show Vlad. Click that. Now this is where all your games is. It all loads your GameCube games in as well. So any any um, configuration you want to do, you want to change some buttons and stuff on your controllers, including your GameCube, you can come in here. But what I wanted to show you firstly was if you go onto Google, I, I, I'm not 100% where I'm allowed to say it, but if you go onto Google and search, let me just silence this one. If you search um, for a me editor for Dolphin, you'll find this me channel wad somewhere. Like I say, I, I'm not 100% where I can say where to get it from, but it's easy enough. Just Google it. Google is your best friend. Double click this. <laughs> And you can come in here and create your own me's. So you can say, you know, like, so you can get all your own stuff, so you can save your games and stuff. That's the first thing I wanted to say. Right, let's load that back up again. So, controllers. Emulate the Wii Remote configure. Now you can come in here and choose anything how you want it to run. If you free A and your B button the way around, if you free one and two button, I have them for um I have the plus and minus one, I I'll use that start and select. Home button, I'll have my Xbox button. A and B is obviously A and B. Then I'll choose um X and Y for one and two. Obviously D pad extension nunchuck. And I believe yeah, you can you can you can um, calibrate your nunchuck here. So that's that's your nunchuck. And also, you can if we change the nunchuck to classic controller extension, then you can come in and totally alter all your classic controller. You can make yourself a profile if you want to call it. Um, just call it new. Save. So that if you come here, you want to a. B, X, Y. However you want it, this is personal preference. You might like it, not like it, same way as me. Up, down, left, right. Left stick up, down, left, right. You haven't got to do that. I believe that a lot of this will automatically configure this anyway, so. Triggers. So if you've got your, your new profile there, you can, you can save it. Now, with certain games, they might need motion, the motion sensor. So firstly, what I'm going to do, I highly recommend buying yourself a Mayflash Dolphin bar and using a Wii remote for the Wii. It's, it's a no-brainer for me. It's, they're brilliant. They're really, really good really responsive as well any, any input lag whatsoever and they'll make the game game so much more playable 
you can use the Xbox controller, which I'm going to show you how to use, but it's not a great experience on most games. Some games are okay, some games are pretty crappy, to be fair. But what you can do is, like, say, with, um, let's say, with New Super Mario, you can come in here because there's certain bits where you have to jump and, and shake. You can mess about with this and change it. I don't, I'm not 100% on all the, the logic here with this, but when I did it last time, I just put them all onto the left thumbstick. I know it's stupid, but now if you hold the left thumbstick on, it's showing some sort of motion here, which when if you load the games through this, the actual emulator, it seemed to work a little bit, but once I load them through Retrobat, I couldn't get them working where I choose auto config controllers on or off. It didn't seem to to be working on it. So stuff like that, that's why I highly recommend using the Wii Remote because you've got to sort of, with new Super Mario Brothers, it's, you turn the Wii Remote sideways, so it's like an old classic controller. But then when you jump, you, you literally use the motion up and down on it. And it will make you like float when you've got your bloody wing at or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, that's that for now. Like I say, I'm sorry if I blabber on. I don't plan these videos. I should really, but I don't get time to do that. So I'm just, I just do these off the cuff. Um, go back to Nintendo. Down to Wii. Right, you press your back button or select if you're using a PlayStation controller. You can come in here and go into your advanced system options. <clears throat> the auto configure controllers is on there. Controls. Now, this is obviously going to be for every. It's going to be setting this for every single game. So you come in if you use if you want to use your Xbox controller or PlayStation controller, you come in and click emulated. And then you choose what you want to do. Now, basically, nunchuck stroke cursor means your left thumbstick is your nunchuck, your right thumbstick is your cursor, and vice versa, obviously, with the, with this one. Now, some games you might want that, some games you might want that. But I'm just, at the minute, this is changing it for everything, basically. So, if Mario Kart's highlighted in the background, we'll use, um, now, I, I believe, let's go with Nunchuck Cursor. Yeah, that's the way I use that, but I believe in Mario Kart, you can use your thumbsticks to control it. Now, I'm not 100% whether you could use the classic controller in Mario. You might have been able to. With this it now, your right thumbstick looks your pointer as if you're, you know, it's emulating the pointer. Have a quick look. Super Mario Bros. So now what it's, it's going to be trying to do is um, let's have let's save it. Well, have a look. But obviously, with this, with these games like Super Mario and stuff, you're, you're holding your controller the like the opposite way. I was working on it. Right? I didn't realize you could do that. 
That's looking fun. Oh, God. When I tried to put that motion sensor, it's not doing it because you, you'd see him like do a bit of a spin jump. Which he's just not doing. Which basically for me, even though all this is okay, obviously once you pick up the wing at up, it makes it pretty much unplayable the games. Unless you play it through the actual emulator, or we can try. Coming back out. Now if you go into advanced game options, we can try that's on, so we'll try it on off. See what I thought you'd have to do on this is go into your um emulated device and change that to Wii Mode Horizontal there, but I didn't realise you could use your, your thumbstick and use your nunchuck. If you do click that, that then it'll be using your D-pad, so you can use it fine like this. But I'm pretty sure the motion sensor bit won't work. Be a way, I'm not saying there isn't a way of doing it, it's not one that I'm aware of. I'm not tried everything on it, but basically, I'll show you what I mean. So, if it weren't for the thing, it'd be ideal, but went for the hat, and there might be other stuff as well. I'm not on those things, I've never really played. This Mario was too far, so there might be something else, some other item that you pick up that requires like a bit of a motion input or something. But it's here. So there's your wing hat. And as you say, it'll, it's telling you to shake your remote to jump. And obviously, that motion sensor that I've tried is not working. Now, like I say, once I've tried in uh, the Dolphin emulator, exactly the same setup as what I've just did, it worked. But it was a little bit temperamental. But it actually worked, at least it was trying to work. So, I'm just going to remember as I go along, I'm going to pull them back on auto. So, Resident Evil Chronicles again, but for me, this is where you can come in and alter all your games. I can't alter all the games because basically, if I go and change every game to how I would play them on a controller and then somebody wants the system with a uh, and they're using a dolphin bar and they're gonna have to come and alter every single game so it's gonna be um, left with whoever you know if you, if you have a drive and you want to change them then you're gonna come and do it yourself that's why I'm gonna show you a bit of a tutorial how to do it so with this one because it's basically a shooting game, so you're not using your thumbstick to move, it automatically walks, are you? I would have the left um, thing is the cursor on this one. I usually use that because obviously you want your, your left nunchuck if you're playing games like Mario or whatever, as you're, you're moving, otherwise with your right thumbstick it's going to be a bit weird, isn't it? Like moving left and right with your right thumbstick. So because this is a shooting game, I go with cursor stroke nunchuck. But yeah, I highly recommend with the games like this, with the, the dolphin bar, and if you buy yourself one of them little clipping guns for your Wii remote, the bloody brilliant, really, really playable. <coughs> I think they're about they're less than thirty quid for a sensor bar. You can get on eBay and get your sent a controller for fifteen quid, probably with a nunchuck. 
Resident well worth, I'd always recommend going with uh, um, an official Nintendo controller, not the cheap crap of what you can buy off Amazon. You buy off buying one that's used. So yeah, this is my left thumbstick now instead of my right thumbstick. The Umbrella Corporation. Career so again, games like this, they're, they're, they're playable. I'm, I'm going to show you more. It's right, your right trigger as well is shoot. But yeah, obviously that's a lot. That's a lot better with the Wii remote, but it's still playable. Nice. He looks hurt. Hey, you okay? What happened here? Krauser, wait! Looks like he's had yeah, a few bodies. Something's not right with this guy. He's been on the old Stella. Oh, no, it's not the two to shoot, so he's... Yeah. This automatic reloads as well. Like, yeah, this the is one of the umbrella's virus. Do, huh? Yeah. There was something different about this one. Yeah, it's... But it's like, it's really, really sensitive, so you, you, you've got to press it a little tiny bit. Better find that hey, guide which is, it's you know, like I say, it's, it's playable, but it's where you're going to be have a ten times better experience using a May Flask Dolphin, but... Their heads! Blow their heads off! Oh yeah, that's what it's all about. Anyway, quit out of that. It's just to show you the different sort of setups you can do with it. I'm going to put this back to auto, like I said, so I'm not knackering my system up. Auto, auto, auto. Right, okay. So, Super Mario Bros. Uh, Galaxy. Advanced game options. Controls. Emulated, and it's set for Nunchuk left and cursor right, which, on this game, that's exactly how I'd have it. And you can choose, like, like I say, if you want to Invert A and B buttons, you can change it there. <laughs> the secret word is Xbox controller. Xbox controller. So here again, your right thumb stick now, because you want your left thumb to be uh, walking. That's me, just looks like me, bald and old. And this is like it's saying, but you can re invert your controllers, your B buttons, your A buttons. So, sometimes you might want it. You can just go in each game and set it up exactly how you want it in each game. But sometimes you might want that as your B button. You get here, back on the game, you have to point at the um, the stars to collect them. You can do that with your right thumb stick. So, you know, that's, again, it's, it's playable. It's a little bit more awkward, but it, that's... I play I played this quite a bit, actually, before I got a, a Mayfin, Mayfly Stilfin bar, and it's, it's really playable. It's, it's fine to play. Right. And so the dead is going to be the same as the thing. And then obviously, Wii Sports is where you're going to find. Um, obviously, with the tennis, you're not going to be able to swing your remote. So you need a Wii remote for them. You can go in and mess about and, and edit it all and probably get it working to a degree. But you, it's just it's just pointless. You, want, you need a Wii remote to, to play that sort of game. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Now I don't know whether you can use um, the classic controller on this, we're going to try it. Once game options, controls, emulated ones, let's try a classic controller. It will tell us as soon as it loads up, you might not be able to use one. Like I said, if I were professional I'd already know this and I'd have wrote it down, but I'm not. And I haven't. Yeah, it pretty much looks like that's not going to work with a classic controller because there's no buttons doing anything, so we'll quit out. 
so what you'd have to do with that again controls emulated have um left nunchuck right cursor which is um, set for i can just put that on auto there basically Yeah, it's not loading through anyway, though. Which is weird. Hmm. I'm not confirming it. Try turning the auto config controllers off. Yeah, no. Pretty sure that should just click through that. So I'm pretty well. Well, I'm really certain that that's not working at all. I don't know why that is. I'll let it load just to make sure. working that's when your phone's stuck. Well oh, that's weird. So it might have worked with a classic control on. It just seems like usually you can click through that at start. Again this is you, you right thumbstick on this is gonna be aim because you have to point it when you're playing it on the Wii you have to point it the screen at the aim. What's the sit rep on New York? Is a the Russian bit. jamming rigs have neutralized mm. our air support. As long as they maintain air dominance in the losing fight, we cannot lose. Oh, Again, we are Malaysian, pretty, pretty good to be fair, it's, um, I've only seen a couple of games that haven't worked and I've seen one which I've put in here now which I'll show you in a little bit goldenized, got graphic issues on it. That's why I put it in basically, to show it. Give me the bullets. to show you can use an Xbox controller. B15, I'll load it up as it is to see what it's like. I'm pretty sure on this you'll be able to use a classic controller. But I'm not so Second player on there, so I can't advance, which is great. I 
don't know why it's playing play the second controller. No idea. Took on who your controllers is on. Mm. No, I'm not going to mess it up just yet. Let's just try another classic controller. Well, the button's working. I don't get why it's putting a second player on there, I don't understand that. I don't even think I've set a second. You can't. You need a pointer so you can't use the classic control on it like that. Which is great. So one last try. I'm not, I'm not going to mess about too much with it. There'll be a solution like that to do it, but I'm not going to piss about too much doing this. Um, I'll try turning the auto free controls off. Controls. Here's a nunchuck. See if that got rid of the second controller. Turn that auto configure controllers on. Uh, oh, sorry. Hmm. One last time. Like I said, I'm not going to cut this out because people who are having the same issue, if you see what I've tried and doesn't work, it saves you pissing about and trying it yourself and not having it work. See the second control there. No idea what's in that. Is it just because of the moment I'm clicking on stage? Play quick 11 vs 11. It might be something to But you'd think you'd be able to just play a friendly game, wouldn't it? Okay. He's still alive You know it's putting two players on it. I have no idea what I see now. Crap. No idea. So let me just have a look at one thing. It's about going down to Dolphin again. Controllers, we remote two. Right. There we go, it might be that. Set that to none. Close. That could possibly be the problem. I'm not gonna mess about too much, but I'm gonna go and try that again now. To see if it solved it, and then if people have that same issue, they know what to do. I 
looks like it's gone now, so that's that with the issue. Yeah. There we go, we saw that was the problem. With the mighty derby. And obviously in reality playing these will be the only way we're gonna win. This is the right thumbstick is making it control. Pretty good covering. Leave. That's a great effort. By watching Derby in real life. This Martin, really. Alright, so yeah, you can see that works anyway. I'm not gonna embarrass myself with that. Golden eye. Now Let me just um, make sure that's back on auto again. Like I said, I do these videos and then I forget to put stuff back, and then I go to go on my my uh, system and it, all the controls are bloody all of which yeah. So this will automatically run as a um, pretty sure it will just automatically run as a classic controller on that. Not 100% or something like that. Well, the main reason why I wanted to load this up is because, well, the last time I played it, I'd like all graphical. Oh, right, they fixed it. There was all graphical issues when I played this. And it is using the, the Wii remote. So, let's try it then. Going to advanced game options, controls. I'm going to try and use a classic controller. On this. If you Google what games use a classic controller, I'm pretty sure there'll be a list out there. I know a fair few of them did. I've actually got one downstairs from my Wii. The decent little controllers for playing stuff like this. Yeah, the last time I played this, it had like all um, yellow graphical issues. It went, it looked crap. <laughs> well, there we go. Now it's it's playing like a, as a with a controller, obviously. That's going to be perfect to play with the Xbox 360 controller. It's going to be a lot, probably be easier than playing it with a Wii remote. To be fair, some of these games where you have to use your nunchuck and your aiming are really awkward. Yeah, that's uh, definitely solved them graphical issues. It's uh, looks really well. Happy with that. done that so basically that was it just to show you a little bit of um, the controls and how you can change them for each game you can go in and, and put whatever you want on I'm gonna leave that actually as a uh, thing because you probably play the classic control anyway but yeah it's, it's just a quick flip through show you how to change your things also let's have a quick look before we Leave it at that. If we press back, go into advanced system options. Virtual virtual sync. Now that was the other thing. If you're struggling with vert, with having um, screen tearing, I had this virtual sync on and it wasn't working. It was I had real bad screen tear. So what I did, I, I put it off in the actual emulator, and then I set virtual sync up on my graphics card, which I'll actually quickly show you how to do. And it runs really well. 
decorations is obviously your borders. Uh, I don't know. You, that's obviously just using Dolphin. You can have um, widescreen if you want it. Internal resolution. I don't know what it's set at on that, to be fair. I know it's definitely higher than the standard one. It might be set at 720 or 1080p. But yeah, you've got some other stuff in here that you can mess about with turning on and off to make it run better, but basically with Wii, it's not, uh, it wasn't the greatest graphic, so you're not really going to notice massively. Might make it a little bit pretty, but at the same time, it might um, cost you a little bit of performance. Enable cheats. Don't know whether that works. I've never even tried it to be fair. Alright, you need the thing. Yeah, you mess about with that. We're going with a lot of this. I've not, not tried it. I've just set, left it as standard on the Wii. The interface, you can have your frames per second show in and stuff like that. So. That's another thing. I never tried the. The direct text apparently will get rid of a little bit of screen tear, what somebody was saying, or whether it's 11 or 12, but as it's set, I don't, I don't know why it's not showing you what it's set on, it's just saying auto, I believe I put it on direct text 12 anyway. I think it's just because I've copied it off on my main system why it's not showing you, but I'm pretty sure it's on direct text 12. But anyway, let's quit out. So, if we just get rid of that, um, right click. If you've got an NVIDIA, it's obviously going to be something similar to on your any of the graphics cards that you use, but NVIDIA control panel. Bear with me. Oh no, it's not. Sorry. Put in both the monitors on. So, what you do is, I've already set it, you see, on this. You would add, click browse. Well, let's just show you where it is. You come into your Retrobat folder, emulators, um, Dolphin MU, click it, click open, which is all, which I've already got set. And then you put your vertical sync on there instead. Obviously, it's not going to let me save on yours when you do it. If you turn that on, it'll, it'll come up with this thing here saying apply. Click apply, and then that will get rid of the screen tearing. Don't use the on. Um, it might work with certain cards, but the Dolphin, if you have it switched on on that, you get really bad screen tear. So, now what I shall do is I'm going to play some um, games with the Dolphin bar. Just to show how playable they are with a dolphin bot. Fifteen love. Fifteen all.
vitals have been stabilized, begin treating the external wound. First, you'll need to sew up the laceration with the sutures. Begin suturing the remaining lacerations. So far, so good. Please treat them with antibiotic gel. That takes care of the external wounds. Let's move on to treating his arm. Apply the antibiotic gel to the incision guideline. See that coming. So this is what Umbrella's virus can do, huh? Yeah. There was something different about this one. Excuse me, sir? I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Que carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you.
Are we the only ones left? We can't let everyone's death be in vain. Hurry! by the marker. Caldwell, you finish the job. All right, boss. All right, Egan, let's get this thing on board. Lexine's right. Leo would flip if he saw this. Steady your hand there, Sam. I got it. Almost there. 